I have been saving up my universal speed ups since the beginning of the game, which is basically one year ago as it is now the anniversary. And as you can see, I have saved up thousands and thousands of universal speed ups in order to make a push to T5. Now I will be able to show you guys exactly what it looks like and if I have enough. Um, from what I've calculated, this is uh, about four years, I think, of speed ups total there's mostly universal and quite a bit of training as well as building uh, and i have not been saving up the research one because i've been using these as i go along uh, so as you can see here there is uh, 8460 minutes i have 300 days worth of speed ups here i have two seven days 115 five hours 649 eight hours uh, so there is a lot of stuff here um, i also have a decent amount of resource saved up but i have used a decent amount as well in war so i am not even sure if i'm gonna have the resources to push but i will do everything that i can i have a few buildings to finish as well as a little bit of research left um as you can see a lot of my stuff is still in the level nine uh so you know this one's gonna finish this one's gonna finish and then i'm gonna have these two as well as these two to see if i can reach the t5 as well as a few little research here i think you have to finish this entire tree so i will also quickly finish this one up now the first thing i'm going to do before i start is going to be using up all of these masks and stuff that i've been saving also for quite a long time uh, so as you can see this is a decent amount of resource as well extra speed ups things that i might be needing so i'm going to be using everything that i have here and here we are quite a decent chunk and you can see i also have 5,000 of these so i have never purchased any of these uh, since my thing has been level 24 basically uh, and now I have enough so basically uh, I think it's about four or five months ago that I leveled that to 24 so it took me that long to get these 5,000 from killing darklings so it wasn't too long to be honest uh, you know I have purchased a little bit of these in the early days but uh, these 5,000 that I earned were by itself just farming so it does show that you can get these quite easily if you play long enough uh, rally beacon I am short a, about 1,800 uh, because I also haven't bought any of those so I am going to have to do this and spend the gems for it uh, it hurts but at least it wasn't too too much and now I'll be able to upgrade this as well now the reason I'm pushing now is of course because there's a great height but at the same time there is time to act which is basically uh, the amount of speed ups that you're using so uh, this is obviously a two in one event now I'm on a server where I will have no chance of winning any of these events by any margin whatsoever uh, as you can see these wells have already pushed more than 40 million power alone so i'm hoping to gain at least 20 something million power but uh 40 million is just not gonna happen i'll do what i can but this is another level but it will be nice to see how much i can compete with my current uh boost and the missing things that i have for t5 and i'm gonna use everything i have on my account speed up wise uh, as long as I have the resources for it and see how far this can get me. So the first thing I need to do is get all my buildings 25 in order to get the College of Order 225. I am going to speed up these two uh, research that are currently going on. So I'm going to use the big boys first. Uh, we'll get through these ones and then we will see how much we need uh, in order to get this building maxed out. Okay, so in order to do this, I need the watchtower. In order to do this, I need the wall, and then I need the hospital, and I need the rally bacon, and I need all of this basically. Uh, so as you can see, everything's gonna have to go to the max level. It doesn't really matter what they are; they just have to. Uh, so now we will just do the game of upgrading all of these until we get enough help, and uh, we are at the College of Order. Uh, so I'm gonna upgrade basically all of my buildings uh, right now. And we can collect a lot of gold chests meanwhile and just wait to see how fast we can get these 30 helps. And here we are finally, level 24, 25, College of Order. So that's the research building. And that should be the last building that I need to upgrade. As you've seen, a lot of my resource has disappeared from all of this building. Um, luckily, I have quite a lot of extra resource saved up over here. 
Uh, but um, as you can tell, it's very expensive to upgrade your buildings in this game. Gladly to only have to do it once. And now I have every building at level 25. I mean, things that can still go up a little bit, but I don't have uh, the resources to do that right now. But it will happen over time uh, because obviously the 2000 gem per master blueprint does get expensive for buildings that don't do much. Uh, but now we're pretty much at the end. You see, I ran through almost all of my speed up for building. I have... Uh, you know enough to do this building but not so much that i would have a lot of extra uh, so i'm going to be using these and these and here we go now we have the last thing done and here is the pack city of learning that obviously gives you a lot of extra stuff to help you build when you are doing uh you know this kind of stuff so there's a few packs like this that appear to help you uh towards the end so now i am going to be on the research part and for that, I'm going to need a rune to be very good. So a 10-15% rune would be best. But since these are very low cost, it's only two or three days, uh, I can do them with there's not much of a difference. You're only saving a few hours. So I'm going to start queuing these and I'm going to go look for a research rune. Okay, so I finally found a 10% research rune. I don't have a 15%, but um, I have so many speed ups that I think it should still be okay. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish all the economy tech uh, because it's all very short three four days stuff and then i will go into the big ones in the army technology which are going to be hundreds of days and we'll see how much of my speed up it eats up Okay, so finally we are done with this tree. Now I can finish up this last one, supply chain, and then I can finally go here and get this assault strategy started for 31 days, so we're not too bad. And then we have first aid for 62 days, so from 8 to 9. Uh, so 31 days and 62 days for these guys for level 7 and level 8, and then we'll see uh, from 9 to 10, which is the big one, which is I think over like 100 days or something like that. Uh, so now we'll be waiting for those to be at full uh, 30 help, uh, which will take down 30% of the time, a little bit more, I think. So, you know, uh, very, very different, definitely very worth it uh, to come here and check to make sure that those are maxed out. And again, this could be even faster if I had a 15% uh, instead of a 10%. Now I have more speed ups and I have resources, so I don't mind spending a little bit of extra. Okay, so finally I have all my 30 help. Uh, so this has reduced for eight days and 16 days respectively so a lot of days have been saved now we can come here and finish the up so 557 speed up for that one which is pretty decent chunk this one is a thousand so i'm gonna start with the bottom as i've already started there earlier uh and then we'll just finish up with the one minute there we go then that now now is when we see 100 and 25 days as well as a lot of resources for 1 million power and the buff is 9% HP so this is massive insane for one research the difference between a T4 and T5 is really in all this tech this is what gives the most insane bonus in the game so we'll queue this one up and this one is at 62 days the previous one was the same so we'll queue this one up as well and then we'll have literally just one more of these 100 something days for this one and then we'll basically be right into these two and into t5 so we're not too far away from it so we now have the 30 help and this one has saved 32 days of speed ups from the help so obviously a pretty massive amount just find it pretty cool to see the numbers now we have 93 days left so we'll go through the 24 hours which we have 92 boom that's 92 days and then we'll finish up with these guys now this is done now we need this one to be at level 10 to get the rest so boom a thousand of them i just clicked fast i guess and 125 days on this one so we'll go ahead and queue that one up and i don't think i can do oh yeah i can do infantry and stuff which i don't really want to do right now uh but uh we'll just wait for this one to go and then we'll be able to go straight into these guys 
So we have all our helps. Now we're at 93 days left. So we'll go through all of these and a few of these. There we go. It is going down quickly, but um, as I said, I don't think this is what's going to stop me. The resources are going to stop me way faster. I've already had to use a lot of my boxes. Now this one's 59 days. So from 9 to 10, this one is really not that bad. And I think this one's going to be pretty similar because look at the power gain. And it's only 520,000, uh, which this one was like a million power gain for the last one. Uh, so it just shows you that the cost will be pretty low compared to, uh, you know, a million research. And this is kind of the same in speed up. So 500,000, 50 days. If it was a million, 100 days kind of seems to be a bit of the like way it works. And again, we're having 6% magic attack bonus here. And here is going to be another 6%. So I have 12% stats here and I've gained something like 20% stats from the last two of these guys. Uh, so it is really insane the amount of stats that you gain and the amount of power you gain as well. Um, if we come here and look at great heights, I gained basically 10 million power so far from doing just my training of uh, my research and my buildings. And if we look at the event time to act here, uh, I'm at 1 million. So, I mean, I'm not as high as this guy who has trained a million troops and is going to train way more. But, um, you know, not too bad considering uh, that I am a T4 that is really not a high spender. Uh, so now we'll try and finish up everything here um, once this is over. And then this one, and we'll see uh, the last one, what it costs and what time it requires. But I think it's actually not that bad in terms of uh, the T5 themselves. The big ones are really these three, which are the ones who are going to require way more of anything. I mean, look at it. It's 2 million power gain each as opposed to, uh, you know, regular uh, research, which is, you know, 270,000 here. Here we have, you know, 80,000 you're gaining. I mean, at the end, it's going to be a million for these guys. So... The total of these guys is really like a million as opposed to these who are two million so this is why these are double the expense so we're ready here to move on to the next one we'll just finish all of these guys and these guys and then let's do this and now we are ready for magic protection uh, another 83 days so actually pretty high not too bad at all in terms of speed ups and this is the last one um, as soon as we're done on this this is going to be the t5 so we're just going to wait for 30 help and see how uh expensive the training and the converting of these units will be afterwards and we have all our helps finally so here we go let's do the eight hours boom so still quite a lot of them left i really didn't go through as many as i thought i would um and then 45 days and 10 minutes really not that expensive actually uh, but 45 days for the t5 and here we go and that's it we've gotten our t5 unit finally on the account um, i'm gonna go for ballista next but i don't actually care much for any unit type except for Celestials, so I'm going to have to go for all of them. Um, but knowing that these ones are actually not too bad, I've really done the worst of it. So obviously I'm not going to go able to speed up all of them, but I should be able to uh, get them all in the next few weeks, few months. It really shouldn't be too, too much because I really have the speed ups. I'm just going to farm a lot and make sure that I have all the resources that I need and be able to get through these quite quickly. Um, so, I mean, I'll start this one, of course, like while I have the buff, but... Uh, really is not something i don't think i'll have the resource to go all the way to make it uh to the t5 uh, we'll see how it goes but it was just uh, really interesting to see what it took for me to reach t5 and i'm not yet on all my help but i will be pretty shortly and then i'll see about the training uh, and the converting what it looks like and once you do unlock the t5 this is the bundle that does pop up so a very very good bundle at uh, 25,000 gems and uh, like 50 million of like all the resources basically as well as a lot of speed ups which basically those speed ups are kind of like what you need to get the t5 uh so for me they're not that useful but they're going to be useful because i don't have a lot of research speed up and i have a lot of universals so i'm going to use these for like the archer t5 and other things in the future so here we go we're ready there is uh 10 days nope 33 days okay there we go uh so i can use these ones that i just got from the pack and basically it does, takes away almost like more than half of what you need and I can finish it up with just a few of these. And there we go. Boom. And finally, I have E5 on the account. Let me queue this up because now there's nothing else for me to do here. Uh, and we'll see exactly how much power that gave me. Uh, so time to act. I have 1,200,000 1, points. So like speed up minutes basically used. And then in the greatest height, I have gained a total of 11, almost 12 million power. Putting me in the position number 12. Now, if I had infinite amount of resources, I do think that with the speed ups that I have left, I could probably get at least one or two more uh, T5s done. I could probably get at least the Ballista, I think. And then I would probably be able to get, you know, somewhere into this close enough. 
uh because i do have quite a lot of speed ups left uh but i just don't have uh the resources to keep using i don't want to use everything that i have to zero because i still need the account to be functional in war uh but i will be able to at least be a bit stronger in battle now and then now if i come here and let me just queue these up away uh, because i do have a lot of training speed ups as well uh, so now if i look i could be training uh my vestals 5 already uh, and then uh, the cost is obviously quite high i could train quite a bit and i will try and train a little bit at least and the nice thing to do too is converting the fours into five the cost is very very low compared to you know uh, when you're training brand new ones so it's about like half the cost let's say and this is only for like a thousand something units so it's really you know uh, the difference is pretty massive but if you have a lot of t4s and you convert them you do end up with a better kind of like army as it is uh, already a lot of the training time has gone away also it's good to note that when you are upgrading units uh, for for example the strongest lord you will get a lot more points upgrading t4 to t5 than uh, training full t5 not that training full t5 gives less point but you will need to use a lot more speed ups and a lot more resources as opposed to this and the massive amount of difference in point comes from four to five so you get most of the points for a lot less uh, time and money and um, you know investment of resources so you can stack up t4s for a long time and then at the strongest lord you can go into uh you know the full-on training and get all the points here uh, as it tells you know you gain 60 points per upgrade instead of 100 for full training but those 60 points you can get a lot more done for a lot less resource and speed up if you're limited on that so training uh 11, 600 of them um, obviously i've queued it up with one of the boosts and you can see uh, basically this would use 258 of my speed ups and i have quite a lot of them so i could be training i think a full march if not more uh, i'm gonna train as much as i can with now spending all of my resources and i'm gonna just keep training them as time goes on from now on uh so yeah, this is it i finally have t5 vessels on my account now maybe by the end of next season i will be able to have t5 celestials uh, so make sure to stay tuned and hopefully you enjoyed uh, going through this little journey with me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video.